Due to popular demand, guys, I'm bringing you a tutorial today. What's going on, my friends? My name is Grinit, and today there's a tutorial. So, a lot of you guys have been asking me how you can get to the Court of Oryx or how to do it and all that. So, here we go. Right off the bat, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to and patrol the Dreadnought. Now, if you don't have any reciprocal runes or stolen or anything, this video is pointless. So, if you don't know what those are, Right off the bat here, you go into your, not quest tab, I always do that. Go in your inventory, and in the top right corner, left corner, in the materials, you will see that you have reciprocal runes. Reciprocal. Now, these can be obtained by drops, by quest rewards, uh, Eris Morn, level ups, and stuff like that. You get that, and then those eventually turn into stolen runes, and those turn into antiquated runes, and that is how that works. Now, once you get uh, to slash arrive in the Dreadnought, you're going to want, want to run directly to your right through this pathway. Now, you'll see some beacons and stuff. You'll run this way. There's this big old giant opening here. You're just going to sprint down this hallway, do all this fun stuff here, and you will eventually, in about eh, 45 seconds, probably be there. That's the wrong way. It's kind of a maze, but, I mean, it's not that tough. Once you get the Dreadnought memorized, it's super easy to find. So, that pillar way up there, that platform, that is actually the Court of Orcs itself. Now, if you don't know what this is, the Court is a kind of bonus, like, survival kind of thing type deal i'm going to take the long way around if you have a, a high jump you can actually jump across it'll damage you a little bit but all you have to do is just jump up to the center platform and you will not take any more damage so once you get over here you're going to want to follow these stairs yeah the wizard can suck a giant fat dick we're going to go up here run through here through this last corridor here and around the corner and we will be in this area. Now, this area is not the court. This area... Okay, Zen Media, you're fucking dead. Pop out. Pop out. Stop moving. Yeah, you're done. Donezo, buddy. So, this is not the court itself. The court is actually down here. I will show you that right now before I activate a reciprocal rune. Reciprocals are the easiest. Stolens are the second easiest. And antiquated are the hardest. You can solo reciprocals really, really easily. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It's super easy if you have a decently high light level. In fact, if you look in your menu, your sub menu right here, you will see that there is a light. Oh, there's not. But normally it would say, yeah, there you go. Recommended light, 190. Super low, 240. And then a full antiquated is like 300, I think. It's not high or anything. But once you're here, you can see how this is all a court. I'll activate one so you guys can see what it is. This is, okay, this is what people get confused with. This is the reciprocal rune altar the closest to the court the second one right here this is the stolen rune altar and the last one right here this is the antiquated now the other side does absolutely nothing don't worry about those ones it's just the totems on the left hand side of the hallway so i'm going to do a reciprocal just for the video's sake we'll activate that you present the rune and then it'll do that big old flare there'll be a chest in the center there and you will see a massive portal open enemies will start to spawn in and it's fun like it's honestly a challenge it was when it first came out but it's kind of easy now so we approach the portal you don't have to do anything you just have to run up clay close kill brachis now each of these has a have a different ability and skill set depending on who it is now this guy you have to kill all the adds in order to do damage to him and once they're all dead you can successfully do damage and he will die like it's not hard it's just, you have to figure it out. And if you're soloing it and not being smart like I am, you will take a fuckload of damage and possibly die. But that's not going to happen. So there you can see I killed the last one. His shield dropped. I'm going to super him and I'm going to probably be able to kill him. Because he's super, super weak. I have no idea if... I uh, didn't have enough time there. I was really slow. We'll just use the rest of the super and burn down all the um, remaining adds. I think there's only three or four left. Uh, boom boom he's dead now I don't know if I can damage him or not yet and I totally can so we're gonna throw a grenade on him there and just shoot aim for that crit spot which is his head because he's a cabal now it's gonna take a little bit of time and we're on the third wave now these are all different every single time the reciprocals are reciprocals are the antiquated are not um, I is crucial that I actually mention that to you guys because that can be really um, confusing sometimes but what the um, antiquated do, they actually reward you with calcified fragments too. And if you guys are aware and you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I am only missing two more calcified fragments, and they are both from the Court of Oryx. Now, they can be either stolen runes or antiquated runes. The antiquades are harder. They reward high level artifacts as well as high level gear, actually. Pretty decent gear. It's not like it's low level. Okay, ready? Now, we got some good da time to do some damage on him. We're just going to stun lock him. Normally, with a lot of people, you can kill him super, super fast. But like I said, me alone, it's going to take me a little longer. It is time, so try to do as fast as you can. If you can't do it, gather up some buddies. Generally, there's going to be people here playing, though. So I wouldn't worry too much about like not finding people or having trouble doing it by yourself. Because there's always going to be people around this area. Don't die. That'd be embarrassing. 
there's always going to be people around this area. Now, I only have one more enemy left. Two more, maybe. And I'm going to use my super again when I can. Like this. And I should kill him right here. So it's going to burn, 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 burn. Come on, die. There we go. He's dead. Nice. So it didn't spawn anyone else. It actually did. And you can get your individual, like, challenge from this. Like, you see, I got the light from darkness. That is a... Um, Court of War is exclusive. Now this, like I said, reciprocals drop shitty rewards, so you'll go, it'll give you a blue, maybe a, a bad gun. Ah, actually, I got a purple from that. No, that was, um, that was, uh, heavy ammo. Sorry about that. You'll come back up here, and then you're fine. But if you, and now you can see I have Summoner's Exhaustion. What that is, is just means you cannot use one for about 30 seconds, I think. That's when your friends would use one or something like that. So I got a really bad helmet. That's actually from the game, yesterday's video. Uh, 284 boots, those suck. And then this, it's good for farming armor materials and weapon parts. Honestly, that's kind of what I use it for, and Glimmer as well. But yeah, you can see that. Now, if you jump down here before someone uses it, you'll take damage. It's just like when you're shooting the touch of malice. But that's that. I hope you guys did find this video helpful. I have no idea if you did or not. If you did, please be sure to leave a comment below telling me you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching after. I'm trying to get a thumbnail right now. Wait for that to go away. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay off.